And once we're familiar with the use effect basics, why don't we work on a little challenge? Where essentially, I want you to fetch some GitHub users from the URL and render them on the screen. Now, before we continue, let me just mention that during this video, I will use fetch API. And yes, I'm fully aware that there's library called Axios. And in fact, we will use it later on in the course, we'll have tutorial and then for more complex projects, we'll definitely use Axios. And if you're not a fan of fetch, you can definitely install Axios and use it. But in my opinion, for simple examples, fetch is good enough. Now, if you're not familiar with fetch at all, then I suggest utilizing this link. Effectively, this is the JS Nuggets video where I cover fetch API from scratch. And as far as the challenge, we want to go to app JSX, we want to get the star from zero for fetch data. And essentially in there, we want to set up the state and set up the use effect. And as far as the users, the default value is going to be empty array, then set up a use effect, but make sure that it only runs on initial render. Keep in mind that the URL I provided, it has some rate limits. So if you'll just be randomly testing out stuff by omitting the dependency array, well, you'll exceed that limit and you'll basically have to wait to work on the challenge. Then in the callback function in the use effect, create a function which performs fetch functionality and use the URL I provided in the star file. Now you can go with dot then or async. That's really up to you. So either you can set up the async function or since fetch returns a promise, you can go with dot then. And for now, I suggest just logging. So if you're somewhat confused, just try to set up fetch functionality and log them. Nothing more. Just log the users. If you can log the users, you're already in good shape. Now, if you want to challenge yourself more, then set up users equal to a result. Just remember that fetch returns a promise. We need to go with dot then, and then we need to return dot JSON in order to get the data. And I want to set that result from dot JSON equal to my users, the state value. And then I want to iterate over the list and basically display them. Now, I don't suggest worrying about CSS. It doesn't really matter. You can show them in any way you want. Effectively, I just want to show the profile, the link to the profile, as well as their image. That's it. And a tiny hint, if you don't want to deal with big images, and if you don't want to set them up in CSS, just add inline style for that image and set up the width for, I don't know, 50 pixels or something along those lines. Again, go to the file, try to set up the logic. If you can log, that's already a awesome start. And once you're ready to compare the results, continue with the videos.